You asked for it, America. You got it. We're back in the kitchen with Shea and Kids, tasty treats. Hey, I want to go to some pictures okay. right away because you all made us a Wish TV 8 cake. I, I want to show up. Look at that. Is that, is that not fantastic? Um, and what kind of cake was this? That was a vanilla cake and it was gluten free. Gluten free. With a lemon curd in the inside. Looking out for my man Randy Allison and making a gluten free cake. And we've got some other pictures coming up here. But I want to talk to Caden, who's standing next to me, because I want to know just how much fun it is to be in business with your mom. Caden, by the way, is 10 years old. Yes. So, how much fun is that to be in business with mom? Really fun. I get to enjoy baking um, and fun to try new things, make new things. Now, do you watch any of the competitive cooking shows on television? Yes. I thought I was going to say, I bet Caden watches those shows. And what kind of impact do they have on you? Mm. Inspiration? Yeah, it's, and it, it inspires me to try new things. I try and um, create the things that they create. Um, but, and um, what are we going to make now? So we're going to do some strawberry shortcake cookies. Oh, fantastic. So in the middle, it's like a little surprise. So you can do Oreo, or you can also do a little Debbie in the inside. And then we also do a cream cheese topping and some strawberries. All right. So that makes our cookies a little bit different from other cookies. Let's get after it, and uh, you tell Caden and me what we need to do. So Caden, you need two sticks of butter. Okay. So you add the two sticks of butter inside of the container. Mm -hmm. So you do that along with your carol syrup. And then you'll need some vanilla and some strawberry extract and your one and a half cup of sugar. All of that goes inside of the bowl. Yes. And then you'll mix that until it's fully incorporated and light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the confidence with which Caden is just kind of grabs the butter, loading up the... Guys, he's really good with the fixtures. So my fondant fixtures, a lot of the fixtures that we do on uh -huh. the cakes and the molds, he does those. Okay. So he'll create those with the fondant, like it's Play-Doh, and he'll do those molds for us. He's really good. He's very artsy. So you want to go ahead and get the carrot syrup and the vanilla. Okay. So you'll just mix this. That You need one tablespoon of your carrot syrup. Put that in. Two sticks of butter, so that's one cup of butter. Your two um, tablespoons of vanilla. And then you'll need your strawberry extract. This has all been pre-measured. And... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm getting the sense this is not a super complicated recipe. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not at all. And then you'll need your sugar. Cookies is one of the good things. It's not long. It doesn't take long. Ten minutes to bake, a couple minutes to cool down. It's all about the not overmixing in the flavor. Okay. So you'll mix that until it's light and fluffy. Now, yeah. what is the danger of overmixing? Tough. It makes it tough. Tough. Okay. It makes it really tough. Um, it, it's not enjoyable. Even uh -huh. with the cake, it'll make it tough. Okay. Yeah, really rough. So you gotta, you got to know when to stop. You got to know when to stop. So you'll mix this for a couple minutes till it's light and fluff, fluffy and well, well incorporated. And then you'll take your flour. This is four cups of flour. And then you have your cornstarch inside and you have your baking powder. Okay. So it's two tablespoons of both. It's already mixed in. Once it's fully incorporates, you'll do one cup at a time. Okay. Along with your two eggs. So the eggs will go in. So he'll get the two eggs and mix those in. We're gonna we're gonna crack those and put them in with the flour. Or... Yep, you'll put this in with the wet ingredients. Oh, I see. Okay. The dry ingredients always go in last. So you do one at a time. Nice, uh, nice egg crack in there, Shaden. <laughs> Thank you. Whoops. Oh well, right. Matt, he did a nice egg. Yeah, so we're batting five hundred. We're, we're still good. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> You get the gist of it. That up and then you'll mix this in, one alternating, and then you'll have this okay. that my son created for you. Stay there. Uh -huh. Don't step in it, kid. Come on. We're getting, a, we're getting an instruction from little brother here. He says, don't step in it. <laughs> <laughs> you but, step in it. Well, these are, these are absolutely beautiful. And, um, I, you know, just speaking for myself, anything inspired by strawberry shortcake is is genius, right? It is, and this is our strawberry crunch that we make in-house. We'll be going into stores soon. 
And so I'll be able to pick that up, and, and everything's mixed up for me. Yes. I, I just All i got to do is add the eggs. Are you, no, you don't no. add nothing. This will go on oh. your ice cream. Oh, okay. So you add this on top of everything. No, okay. So this nothing. can go on your ice cream. <laughs> this will go on your cupcakes. And we're leaving this with you guys so you can okay. try it. We have some people that eat it by themselves, just okay. by a spoonful. Well, that's what we're